arithmetic sequences. What are they? Well, they are uh, a sequence of numbers where simply you have to add the same number each time to get to the next term. Or in other words, the common difference uh, remains constant from term to term the whole way through. Um, so a couple of examples. Uh, you could have 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and so on. Okay, because we are adding 2 every time to get to the next term. Nice and simple. Okay, and we could have, um, how about 12, um, 8, 4, 0, minus 4. Okay, this one might seem a bit different. Uh, you might think, well, we're not adding the same thing, we're subtracting. Uh, but we can think of this as adding negative 4 every time. Okay, so a subtraction is just an addition of a negative number. Okay, um, so some notation. We're going to call the first term u1. Okay, just means the first term. The nth term, so any term you can think of, is un. Um, now what does that mean? That means I could say for this sequence that u6 is 13, because that is the sixth term. Okay, and finally the common difference. Okay, all that means is uh, the number that you are adding between every term. Okay, and we're going to give that the letter D. Okay. Now, um, so two common types of question uh, involve, uh, in some way, finding the nth term. Okay, so finding one of the future terms in the sequence. Uh, and then finding the sum of a certain number of terms. But firstly, finding the nth term. Uh, well, before we get to a formula, we can just fig figure, figure it out logically. Um, so what about the 13th term of example one? Um, well, we started with three, okay? And we were adding two every time, okay? And, well, you might at first think that you need to add 2 13 times. Um, but if you think about the gaps in the sequence, um, you would only be adding 2 12 times uh, to move from the first term to the 13th term. Okay, so we want to add 12 twos to get to the 13th term. Okay, so that's 3 plus 24, and that would be 27 which you could easily verify if you carried on that sequence. Okay, and what about the 40th term of the second example? Well, again, um, I'm going to start off with my first term, and I'm going to add uh, not 40 uh, of the uh, common difference, but 39. There's 39 sort of gaps between the first and 40th term. Okay, and remember, I was adding a negative every time here. Okay? Okay, so this will be 12, uh, subtract, I believe, 156, uh, which would be negative 144. Okay, so based on what we just did a couple of times there, can we come up with a formula? Um, well, each time un was found by doing the first term, u1, plus... Uh, 1 less than n, so for 13 we did 12 times d, for the second one, 40, we did 39 times d. Okay, so we can sum that up by saying n minus 1 times d, okay, times our common difference. Okay, and this is uh, one of the fir first formulas in uh, IB maths that you're given uh, in the formula booklet. Okay, so no memorization needed, although you should understand where it comes from. Okay, um, what about finding the sum of a certain number of terms? Okay, so for example, the sum of the first eight terms of that first example. Well, yes, you could just add 3 plus 5 plus 7 
and all the way up to um, 17. Okay, and that will be fine, but what if you're asked to uh, find the sum of the first 50 terms of a far more complicated sequence? Okay, you're going to be sitting there with your calculator for 10 minutes, so that's no good. Okay, so this is just going to help us find a, find a formula. Well, how, how would you add these terms all together, um, not just doing them one by one? Well, one pattern we could spot, actually, is that if I do the first plus the last term, uh, that actually gives me the same result as the second term plus the penultimate term, and the same as the third plus the uh, sixth term, the same as the fourth plus the fifth term. Okay, so I've just, I'm basically just adding together 20 four times here. Okay. So where did that, where did this four come from? Well, it was how many pairs in eight, or essentially eight divided by two. Okay, um, so we can put this into a formula. So eight divided by two, or n divided by two. Okay, the sum of the first n terms is going to be denoted by s of n. Okay, and well, one of the one of the pairs at least can be described with. Uh, the first plus the last term. Okay, uh, so this is one formula that we have for the sum of the first n terms, but that does require you to know the, the final term of your series. Um, so what if you don't have that? What if it just says, uh, yeah, what if it gives you this here uh, and you're finding 20 terms? Okay, you don't want to have to find the 20th term. Um, so we can actually take this nth term formula and put it inside here, okay? And if we simplify, what we end up with is two u1s, and again, plus n minus one times d. Okay, and that will be the version of the formula that you'll probably use uh, a bit more often. Okay, uh, so, Finding the nth term and finding a sum are fairly simple questions, and uh, you may well see that in question one or two of an exam. Just to ease you into the exam, they sometimes give you some quite simple ones. Okay, but they can ask you harder questions about sequences. Um, and it all involves uh, this relationship between four different things. Okay, the nth term, n, d, and u1. Okay, the easy type of question is when you are given u1, n, and d, and you have to find un. And it's easy because it's basically uh, un is the subject of the formula. Okay, so you can just plug these three things into this side, of the, the right-hand side of the formula, and it's an easy calculation. Okay, so if they ask you to find anything else, n, d, or u1, for example, um, what you need to do is still plug the other three things into the formula, uh, and then just do some rearranging. Okay, so what if I was given this? Um, it's a, sort of an abbreviated question. It would say that it has to be an arithmetic sequence. But uh, we know now that u1 is 5. Uh, we're not told what d is, but we can work it out. What did we add to get from 5 to minus 1? Well, negative 6. We subtracted 6. Um, so uh, we are told un, uh, we are told u1, we are not told n, that's what we have to find, but we are told d. Okay, so let's fill in what we know. And d is negative 6. Um, and then just a, a little bit of rearranging. Uh, minus 6n, don't forget the double negative here. Okay, so 5 plus 6 will be 11. If we subtract that, we get negative 84. Negative 84 divided by negative 6 would give you 14. Okay, um, so un equals minus 73. Uh, it's basically asking what term was that, and our answer is telling you that it was the 14th term. 
Okay, and finally one more example. Uh, well, we don't seem to be given much at all here. We are. Uh, uh, this would say that this is an arithmetic sequence, uh, but we're not given u1 or d. Um, well, uh, we can what we can write down what we do know there. We know that u2 should equal u1 plus 2 minus 1 times d. We know that u15 should equal u1 plus 14 minus 1, which is 14 times d. Okay, I might just neaten that up. 2 minus 1 is obviously just 1, so we have that. Okay, and we do know what u2 and u15 are, so I'm actually going to write in those numbers instead. Okay, now uh, I can't solve either equation by itself, but I have uh, two equations, both with u1 and d as unknowns. So what I can do is uh, solve uh, the system of equations, simultaneous equations. Uh, I might do the second equation minus the first equation, and what I'd get is this. Okay, I've eliminated u1. Okay, you could use a substitution method, it doesn't matter. Okay, and this looks like a, it's not going to be a nice number, but it's actually just 1.5. Okay, that's an important bit of information. Okay, if we're ever going to find uh, s of 20, we're going to need d, so we found d now. Um, for this, n equals 20. As we said, d equals 1.5. Uh, we don't have u1 yet, but we know u2 was 2, so if the second term's 2 and the common difference is 1.5, that just means that the first term must have been 0 0.5. Okay, now we can just plug everything in. 20 over 2 times 2 times 0 0.5 plus 20 minus 1 is 19 times 1.5. This is... 10 times 1 plus 28.5, 1 plus 28.5 is 29.5, times 10, 295. Okay, so a multi-step question there, okay, but all we're using is the, the formulas really. Okay.